So I'm gonna be a good boy today and I'm not gonna fill up this video with a bunch of useless jargon that you don't need. I'm just gonna get struck straight into the lures. You've seen the freshwater lures that have been catching me fish. So now I'm gonna show you the saltwater lures I've been having a lot of success with. There's just two caveats, of course. The first one being is uh, I'm trying to get away from plastics. So the lures that you see today, they're not gonna be soft plastics and they're not gonna be hard body plastics either. They're gonna be metal lures. The other one is, and this is probably the only plastic thing you'll see in this video, is I'm gonna miss the hell out of this Diver Double Clutch. This right here, Diver Double Clutch in the 70 mil, so that's the AU. That's caught me a lot of flathead, uh, a lot of salmon. I've got a trevally on this. I've had a lot of pinky follow up, but never actually take it. And most recently, I got a really nice snook on that. So I'm gonna miss this. Um, I'll either sell it off for a couple of bucks or next time I go out fishing, if there's someone casting lures, I might just go up and offer it to them and they can have it. It beats going into rubbish. And they all go in this tin, by the way, this little Eclipse tin. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll probably notice that I've got a little soft spot for tins. So the lures, there are six, starting with the TT Vibe. Now that is in a one quarter ounce and I just chose the most oceanic looking color lure that I could find. And this guy hits really, really well. Uh, flathead and pinky have been really successful on this and the occasional salmon. Now, the way I like to fish this lure is I will simply cast it out and I'll slow retrieve it back with my rod on the side like this. So it gets a little wobble, so I know it's working. And in the water, the way that's looking is it's just going like this. I can also jerk the rod as well to make it flick side to side or up and down, depending on where the, the hole is. So there's four holes to choose from. And the one that I really like is the second hole because I get a nice horizontal action with a slight nose dip or the first hole for vertical jigging. Now, it's not lost on me that the eyes are plastic. I've lost one recently. So that's kind of alerted me to a need to switch that out for glass or something like that. Now, I believe, what is that one? Now that's a type of vertical jig and the coloring on this is just awesome. So you can get these in a lot of different colors. I just tried to go with something that I didn't already have. It's got beautiful eyes on it. Again, I'll have to switch them out. They don't come with hooks. So I popped a stinger on there. And last week I got a couple of Tommy Ruff on that, which was really cool. And also something that bit and had a little ride and then eventually came off. And when I brought it back in, this split ring was absolutely decimated. Now that was in Port Ferry, so I'm guessing it's Barracuda. Now next one is a classic. It's just a, a Gillies metal pilchard that's in a 10 gram. And it's really, it's just the standard pilchard color, so blue with a silvery belly. And then if you get it on the right light, a little bit of rainbow, and then just a standard looking eye as well, a very natural looking eye. And with that, it's a speed retrieve. Stop. Stop. You can do flicks and jerks and stuff like that. Lots of salmon love that. Now, similar to that, but a different shape is another Gillies Pilchard. It's not a lot of difference, but look at that. So this one, um, you can really see the scales on it. The, the level of detail that they've gone into with this one is awesome and the red eye as well. I really, really like this red eye. Uh, this was responsible for quite a few salmon over the last few weeks. And you can see a couple of the, the bite chunks out of that. And look, the exact same lure with a very, very slight variation. Again, it's another Gillies. It's a, the pink pilchard color. And this one has a little, they've actually put a little fin on there as well, which they don't show on the other one. Ever so slightly different. And as you can see, they're, they've all been attacking the top which is very, very strange. Uh, I caught quite a few fish on this over the last week. Everything from Tommy Ruff and salmon, but most interestingly, I got on a really nice mullet with that. These two in particular, you could do it with this one as well, but these two in particular, I find the best way to retrieve them is very, very slowly winding them in and there's a pop, pop, slow wind. Pop, pop, slow wind. That seems to do the job really, really well. And the last one, which, I do have to make some amendments too because there is a little bit of plastic on there. But that is a TT vibe again, but this time in like a, a prawn kind of shape. I really, really like that. It, it did come with two stingers, but a fish took off with one of those. 
And it's very similar to the way I would fish the, the first vibe that I showed you, this one here. The only difference is I would do a lot more pausing with this because it's a prawn. I want to get a little bit more of a jerk and a little bit of a drop. Jerk and then a drop. So I will change out these little plastic critters here. Um, I'll experiment with something different like cotton or whatever. But these, these lures have been great for me. If I had to pick one, I would go with the, the pink pilchard. This thing has just been awesome. Um, next time I go out fishing, I need to remember to actually take the chest harness for, for this camera here so I can actually start getting some footage um, and share that with you guys as well. So yeah, short, sharp and sweet. These are my favorite lures at the moment.